Hi, welcome to Corel Painter Essentials 8. This is Marilyn Sholin, Corel Painter Master Elite, and I'm going to walk you through some additional painting on your photo art. So this is a photo that I opened up and I did an auto painting of this using captured bristle. It's still in over here. And the painting came out like this. So now that we have our auto painting, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to do some more details on it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I want to smooth out a couple of things. So I'm going to use the photo painting general brushes and I'm going to use the bristle oil. Now, the smaller the brush, the more detail. The larger the brush, the more stroke, kind of. I'm going to go, um, I'm going to go small so that I can bring out more detail. And control Z if you sort of splurge like that and go across the image. So I'm, I'm going to go over a couple of things here on the boat that I wanted to bring out. And I wanted to also paint through some of these spotty areas so it would just be a little bit smoother. So you can use a lot of different brushes here. Remember that over here on the, on the uh, color wheel, you would have to have clicked use clone color so the color wheel turns gray. If I turn that off, If I turn that off on another brush, okay, uh, let's go to chalk. Um, I'm good with this one. And let's turn off the clone color. And this would mean that we're laying down color. Now, if I want to just enhance colors that are there, I come over here, use the color picker. And let me pick up a color that looks good. And now I get my brush again, and I'm going to lay down a little bit more of that color. I think I'm going to add a layer. So get your layers palette open. Go to Window, down to Layers, and click it so that you now have your layers palette open. And right in the middle here, I'm going to add a new layer, and that way I have a lot of control. So I'm going to add a little bit of that color in here where it's very white. See? goes right on exact same color and I'm going to enhance a little bit of the color where it actually is let's get a little bit more over here we're going to want to blend it and control it uh, by using the opacity or using the composite method but I'm going to stay right now with the default and we'll do it we'll blend some more color in here I think it would be good to have a little bit down here more and on the side. So now what I want to do is I want to get a blender. So here are my blenders and I think I will get the, um, the smeary blender. That's what I want. So let's get this uh, coarse oily. Okay. Now that's a little bit large. <laughs> But see how nicely that will blend it, very soft. I'm going to make this smaller now. The brush, I'm going to get it smaller. Okay. And let's blend the color over here. Now, because we're on a layer, it's not touching the bottom layer at all. It's only touching the paint that I put on the layer. And let's blend a little bit down here. So if I go over, oops, <laughs> sorry, I spread it too far. And a little bit of blending over here. And now we can add some other colors in here. But before I do that, I'm going to look at how it looks without it. I'm going to turn the eye off and turn the eye back on and see if I like it. So I'm going to turn the eye back on, but I think it's a little heavy. So over here, the opacity, I'm going to lower it. You have to let go of the bar in order to see how it looks when you lower it. And I think that's better. 
Now I'm going to drop this layer so I can, and I'm going to add another layer. But I'm going to drop this. I can, I can do them all at, have all the layers in there, and we will do that. I'm going to go ahead and drop selected layer to the canvas, and I'm going to add another new layer. And this layer I'm going to call, I can name it, blue. Okay, so all I did was click on the name itself, and it will change the, you can type in the name you want. And the reason I picked blue is because I want to add a little bit more depth in here. So I'm going to zoom in. And I love the way the water turned out here. Very cool. But I want to add a little bit of blue in here to uh, define a little bit more. So I need to have a brush smaller. So I need to go back to the brush that I was using under Chalk and Pastels, the Concept Art Jitter. And the easiest way to get there is just to click on the little triangle and I will see the brushes I used and they're all going to be right up here. So there's the brush I want and we're going to put some blue in these areas over here on the bow. Sort of creating more of a blue shadow. And if I hold down the space bar, I'll get the little hand and I can move my painting around so I can stay zoomed in and still see it. And a little bit more down here. just want to get a little intensified blues in here. So I'm not being neat because I know I'm going to be blending it afterwards. So I'm not trying to be neat. Uh, this looks a little interesting. Let's add a little bit over here. A little bit more blue. A little bit more blue. Okay. Now I want to get the blending brush. And I'm going to look up here. I use the coarse oily blender. Some of the other blenders I've used are down this way. So uh, flat grainy stump, diffuser 2. Uh, let's try that diffuser too. This is under your blender brushes. And first I'm going to make it smaller. Oh, nice. That's exactly what I'm looking for. I just wanted it to sort of make it a puddle and blend it in. And the more color you add to your photo painting, the more painterly it will be. And also you want to break edges. You don't want to have pin sharp kinds of lines. There it is. I did it over here. I'm going to zoom in so you can see what this diffuser did. See how that just diffused it all out? This is a really nice brush. Let me pick this back up. And see, you can sort of drag it with the diffuser. Now, there are multiple diffusers. So, under blenders, you've got diffuser one, two, a directional diffuser, which is really a lot of fun. The directional means that you can point it in a direction, you can have it go where you want. But I like the idea here of very lightly spreading this around. And on this one, I'm going to leave everything. Um, I'm not going to change the opacity on this. I like this just the way it is. There it is without the extra paint. There it is with the paint. See, it creates a shadow. So it looks a little bit more realistic. Very nice. Now, I love this water. It just looks great, but I'd sort of like it to be broken up a little bit more. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go get the um, an auto painting, uh, no, photo painting, the bristle oil, and this is back on Use Clone Color. And I'm going to make this brush larger. And I'm going to zoom in again. And let's see what this brush will do. Do you see how it's moving the water? How cool is that? 
So even though you've done an, an auto painting, it's not finished. It's never finished. You are able to go in and do all the changes that you would like to do. Let's sort of diffuse this a little bit. And let's try another uh, fun brush here. Let's go to the FX brushes. Okay. All right. And we've got a whole bunch of choices here. I'm going to stay up here at the top. And one of them that I really like is Distorto. And see how I can break things up and distort them. I want to be on the canvas for this. So there you go. So the layer on top, it's not going to touch those. So I'm going to actually close the layer so that I don't see it. I just want to see the canvas. And I want to mix this up just a little bit more. There we go. Yeah, I'm liking these swirls here. This is so much fun. So there you can now turn back your layer back on. And the other things that you did will show up that soften the water. So Distorto will work also on the canvas again over here if i don't want this to be so perfect perfect i have to turn off that layer again and i can move some of these around if you've seen some of my paintings where i have wiggly edges um a lot of that is done with distortion brushes distorto brushes so we can just do a little fun here and how about this? Instead of being such a perfect straight line, let's go ahead and wiggle that out. <laughs> oh yeah, I love doing this. <laughs> oh, I want to sit on that bench now, don't you? <laughs> okay, I'm going to go back to the regular 100% and there's the whole, the whole photo painting. Um, I'm going to open this back up, the blue, and we're going to add another layer in here. So let's go again, new layer, and I want you to see it will add the layer right there. It says layer one, and let's change the name of this one to, um, let's see, what should we do with this next? Uh, we're, I think I'll name this water. Okay, so I changed the name. I'm going to close the top one, the top layer, so I can see this. And I want to come over here to this water, and I'm going to go to a brush to add color again. So let me see what looks like fun. Let's add the artist sergeant brush. I'm going to click over here, take off the color, and I want to add some blues in here, sort of a, a lighter blue. So I'm clicking around until I see something I like. And now with my sergeant brush on the water layer, I have the other layer blue closed. I'm going to add some brush strokes in here. I just felt there's too much white in here. And I don't want these brush strokes to all be the same color. So you want to change color as you go. Uh, I can even go into some turquoise right here. Let's add that. We're going to be blending this afterwards. And I'll use my color picker again. And let's get some of this gold in here. Okay. Color pick. Add some of the browns and the golds. It's a pretty color. Let's add some of this color now into it. So let's get the color picker here, get my brush back, and if you press the letter B, it will give you back your brush. Oh yeah, let's do this. This looks great. All right, now I'm going to be blending this, so I want to go back and get a blender, and I want sort of a different kind of blender. I want something a little bit uh, coarser. So here's where I think I'm going to try this one. Of course, Smear Blender. Oh yeah, that works great. 
I'm going to zoom in again so you can see. That's great. That's exactly what I was looking for. It's still retaining a watery look. I'm going to turn off the canvas layer. I'm going to highlight the water layer so I can see everywhere where I put the paint and how it's diffusing right now. Yeah, this coarse smear is a good one. See, with those layers turned off, I can see exactly where I put paint. And when I turn everything back on, it will all be there. A little bit more. Okay, we'll turn that. Oh, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. Okay. Okay, now let's turn that blue back on. And, wow, that's really looking wonderful. Um, this is what we started with, okay? I started with that photo. And then layers. This is what it looked like before I started adding layers to it. I did use the Distorto layer and um, used it on the canvas, <laughs> so that's going to be showing up. But this looks really good. I, I am very happy with this, and uh, I hope you're happy with it too. So this is Marilyn Sholin for Corel Painter Essentials 8, and you can turn all your photos into art. Thank you.